If you are looking for a workflow that produces decals efficiently, then you cannot afford to ignore this video. Because in this video, we are going to compare two different workflows for making decals to determine which has the best throughput. Is it better to have a single device that prints and cuts? Or is it better to have separate devices, one to print and the other to cut? At times, you may think that it would be more cumbersome to have two separate devices, taking the print out and then placing it in the cutter. Whereas a single printer cutter would seem to be just the ticket for providing higher production, not to mention taking less space in your shop. Let's put this to the test and see if it is true. Let's introduce you to the devices we will be using for the two workflows in this competition. The first workflow will be using two separate devices. The HP 360 Latex Printer and the Graftech FC 8600-160 Cutter. This is our print and cut duo. This workflow will be going against a single printer cutter device, the Roland Souljet Pro 4XR640. Once again, the idea here is to find out which workflow provides the fastest throughput, giving you the better productivity. Today's job for our competition consists of printing 36 decals using a matrix of 4 decals across and 9 decals in length. Both workflows will be using the same type of materials with similar settings. Both units will be printing with six passes and bi-directionally using standard DPI resolutions. As for cutting, both the GraphTech and Roland are set to their highest speeds. The GraphTech cutting at 40 inches per second and the Roland cutting at 24 inches per second. The timing will start when both printers start printing and the time will be stopped and marked once the decals have been cut and the media movement has completely stopped. The media has been loaded and the jobs are now being sent. To save time, we will switch to a time-lapse video. As you can see, the HP 360 Latex printer has finished printing the job. The print is removed from the HP printer and will now be inserted into the GraphTech FC 8600-130 equipped with the ARMS or Automatic Registration Mark Sensor System. While the GraphTech FC8600 is sizing up the media, a second print job has already started on the HP360 Latex printer. That in itself cannot be done with a single printer cutter device. To begin the contour cut, the tool on the GraphTech FC8600 is aligned over the first registration mark. A fairly simple and easy process. And once the job is sent, the GraphTech automatically locates the registration mark and begins to contour cut the job. Let's go back to the time-lapse video and wait for the winner. The GraphTech FC8600 has finished cutting the job. So the total time for the HP GraphTech Print and Cut Duo is 15 minutes and 23 seconds, and it's in the process of producing another job while the Roland Souljet Pro is still cutting the first job. Once again, let's return to the time-lapse video and wait for the Roland to finish. The common impression with a single printer cutter device is that it saves time and money by having one machine because it can do it all. At this point, however, you can see through this misconception. With a single printer cutter device, you have a jack of all trades, master of none scenario. 
In other words, because of being an all-in-one device, there's actually a sacrifice in how fast print and cut jobs can be produced. Keep in mind that having two separate devices provides the ability to run multiple jobs at once. As seen here, while the GraphTech FC8600 is contour cutting, a second job can be sent to the HP360 Latex printer. While the HP360 Latex printer is printing, you can begin cutting yet another job on the GraphTech FC8600. You can even produce print-only and cut-only jobs simultaneously, a feat that all-in-one devices cannot achieve. What about the argument that having a single device saves space? Well, in many cases, jobs have to be laminated so the print still has to be removed from the single printer cutter, laminated, reloaded, registration mark scanned, and then finally cut. Add to this the fact that having a single printer cutter allows only one job to be processed, either to print or to cut. A dilemma that may result in having to purchase a separate cutter, defeating the purpose of having a single all-in-one device. The Roland Souljet Pro 4 is finished. Looking at the clock, it took about 26 minutes and 15 seconds. Now compare that to just 15 minutes and 23 seconds for our print and cut duo workflow. The clear winner is obvious. The faster workflow is using the HP GraphTech print and cut duo. It was able to process the same number of decals in a shorter period of time. In fact, the Print and Cut Duo can produce up to almost one and a half times more than the single Print Cut device. Having a separate printer and cutter is truly your best choice. It results in increased productivity and at the end of the day, places more money in your pocket.